I am super excited to share with you this newly updated Love Every the Thinker Play Kit. Love Every recently updated the 11 to 12 month box with some exciting changes. In this video, I'll do an unboxing and I'll review what's inside this new play kit. Quick disclaimer, Love Every did send me this box to check out as they recently updated it, but all opinions in this video are my own. They did not get to review this video before I uploaded it. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what's inside this box. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's inside this box. Okay, so as you can see, this is the new 11 to 12, so it's the current one that's on the website. Here is everything that's included in this box. And this is a roadmap of when, or suggesting when you should introduce each toy to your child. And of course, each child is different, so they might like another toy out of order. So it's not a for sure thing. It's not set in stone. Okay, so let's go ahead and introduce this first. This is the play guide. This is very important, as this is how all the information that Love Every has researched is all inside here. This is what's going to teach you how to use these toys that's included properly. And um, just gives you a lot more information on here. I highly suggest that you read this. Um, this is what I look forward to one of the most in all these kits. Is there's just a, so much good literature in here that I really suggest that you read this. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Alright, so it looks like this is the organic cotton baby doll. A right, quick little note, you notice that I have all three skin tones of this organic doll here. Um, when you actually get the box, before they ship it to you, you get the option of picking one of the three. But for the purpose of this video, they sent me all three just so that you guys can take a look at them side by side. Okay, next we have here something called my notes to my child. Notes to my child. Letters for future you. Okay, so this looks very interesting. Oh wow, this is really cool. Okay. So I'll have to take a look at this and go over with you. But it looks like what it is, is um, basically it's a place for you to write future notes to your child so they can read them later when they grow up. This is really cool. Um, this is something I've actually been wanting to do with my son. Um, I actually made him an email account a while back and I've been planning to write him emails, but I haven't got to that. So maybe this will help. Okay, next. Um, not in any order, I'm just going whatever I see. This should be called the wooden peg drop. So let's see if I can find the wood and sticks anywhere. Oh, probably in here. <laughs> okay. So you have these three little wood blocks and looks like you can just drop them in here. And I think if you push, I'll figure it out a little bit later. Oh yeah, it's just a little sliding board and it keeps it from falling. This is a really cool toy. This is brand new. Um, it was not in the previous box and nothing like it that's ever seen any of the Love Every box. Okay, so the next item here is called the Organic Sensory Pouch. So it looks like it's just a little pouch. Um, just not sure what to do with it yet. Probably with this ball here, you can sense it. Um, I will, of course, read into more and let you know a little bit more. But it's nice quality as usual. And I really like Love Every's color patterns. They're really nice. Okay. The Animals I See book. This book is one of my son's favorite books. So this is definitely good to see that they did not remove this. Um, it's just perfect for his little hands. And he just loves looking through all the little animals in here. Okay, this is the pincer puzzle. This was also in the previous box. Um, it's one of my son's favorite toys initially. He has kind of outgrown it now, um, but I think at the time this was really one of his favorites from the box as well. The book is now his favorite now, but this was one of his favorites when this box arrived. Okay, and this is now the new sliding top box. Oh. Actually, let's go look at these first. These are opposite balls. These are really cool as you can't really tell from looking at it. One is a heavy ball and one is a light ball. Um, what we used to like doing a lot with these when it was hotter in the summer, we would take this with a kiddie pool in the background and the heavy ball would sink and the light ball would float. This is something my son really enjoyed playing with. Um, it's probably time to introduce it to him again. Of course, for this box, I will be introducing it to him again. So previously, I thought that this ball was with this toy, but it's actually with the sliding top box. 
So of course you just put the ball in and then you can push, push it in and then slide it over. Um, this toy is meant to let your child know that even though an object is not in view, it's still there. Um, I do like kind of like how they slim it down a bit and it's nice. And what's also good is that I've noticed that are right away already is that there's actually a slant in the wood. And what I mean by that, you can see that if I put the ball here, it rolls down automatically. It might be hard to see from this angle, but that's what it does. So now when you push it down, it automatically slides away and now your kid or your child can't see where the ball is. You'll have to slide it over to find the ball. And same with the side. All right, so that's all the toys that are inside this box. Um, it seems pretty good box still. And second portion of the video right now, of course, I'm gonna go review it. And I'm gonna keep in mind that this is for 11 to 12 months and my son is 21 months old now. So he's a little bit older than the age range for this box. However, with that being said, many of these toys are still very relevant as there's multiple ways to play with the toys. Um, so let's go ahead and see how my son enjoys playing with these toys. Normally I do let my son spend a couple weeks playing with the toys before I give my review, but since this box is designed for 11 to 12 months old and my son is 21 months old now, he's able to grasp the concept of the toys much quicker. I'll go over the items in this updated box and then I'll talk about whether the updates made to the box would be considered a yay or a nay. The first item, the Animal I See mini book, is a great little book for your little one to start learning about different types of animals. The small size makes it easy for your little one to hold and turn the pages by themselves. Love Every suggests to introduce it during diaper changes to make life easier. As we all know, some babies just don't like diaper changes. The images they use in the book are real photos instead of drawings, which is important as it allows your little one to easily connect the dots whenever they do see the real animal in person. As I mentioned earlier, my son still loves this book and constantly asks me to read it to him. Which means even after 9 months later, my son is still enjoying this book. So I can safely say that this is an excellent book. Books in general are great as they stay relevant for a long time. The best alternative I could find to this book on Amazon was a mini book set for $13.98. The next item is the organic cotton baby doll. While many of the items in Love Every are Montessori inspired, these dolls are inspired by Waldorf educational programs. They intentionally designed them to be neutral and simple. This helps promote creativity and imagination in children. This doll is for all genders. In the previous kit, there was a similar doll called Avery, and I am a bit sad to see Avery go as my son enjoys carrying Avery around everywhere. Trying to find a neutral doll on Amazon isn't exactly easy. A close alternative I found is this doll for $17.99. Not quite as neutral as the Love Everyone, of course. The next item, the opposite balls, are another items that remain unchanged in this box. These are great for teaching your child that while things can look similar, they can behave differently. They introduce your child to heavy and light. I couldn't find anything that even came close where the items looked the same but had different weights. While this ramp toy might not be an exact alternative, it does include these blue-white balls that float and these red-white capsules that sink. The organic cotton sensory pouch is a completely new item that was not in the previous version of the box. As with most sensory play toys, the idea behind it is for your child to explore different textures and sounds. With this sensory pouch, your child gets to explore the crinkly flower, the soft cotton body, and the hard rubberized handle. It's also reversible, making the little tap inside great for practicing pinstrip grass. My son likes putting his other toys, like his toys' cars, inside the bag and dumping them out. One would think that finding alternatives to such a simple toy would be easy, but it's not. I couldn't find anything that was a bag or a pouch concept, but these sensory crinkle toys do come close. The sliding top box isn't completely new, but a modified version of the one included in the previous box. They've slimmed the design down and made it so that the inside is a ramp. This way, when your child drops the ball, it rolls out of sight. This is a great toy to work on hand-eye coordination as well as enhance their hand and finger strength. While in this video, you may see my son slide in the top fairly easily, at 12 months old, he wouldn't have been able to do this. So don't be discouraged if your child doesn't grasp the concept right away. I do like this modified version better as it takes up less room and the concept is easier to grasp. The previous one, there's a chance the ball will remain where it's dropped, which would just tempt your little one to stick their hands inside the hole to grab the ball instead of sliding the top over. I couldn't find anything with a sliding top, but I did find something that was similar with a flip lid. This might be a bit more advanced than the Love Everyone, as sliding is slightly easier than flipping the lid. The pincer puzzle was one of my son's personal favorites when he received the original box. I'm glad to see that this remained unchanged, as with the name of the toy, this works on your child's pincer grasp. 
I couldn't find anything quite the same, but these shape puzzles do offer a similar challenge. My only worry is that the knobs on these are a bit bigger, so your little one might be able to use more than just a thumb and index finger. The wooden peg drop is another new item that was added to this play kit. Posting activities are a great way for your little ones to work on their fine motor skills. I like that this wooden peg drop has several stages. This isn't just your typical posting where you drop the pegs and watch them fall. It adds this purple tab that can be pulled out to allow the pegs to stay on top, push the tab in, and the pegs fall. It might sound like a simple concept for us, but at a child from 11 to 12 months and even 21 months, it's a good way for them to work on their problem solving skills. As you may have noticed, the very common theme with many leathery items is that finding a good alternative for them is tough. And this wooden peg drop is no difference. Since I already used the Imbakuri box as an alternative for the sliding box drop, I figured a toy focusing on posting would be better suited for this one. The pop-up toy doesn't have the dropping of the pegs, but it still has some problem solving in pushing down the cylinders to make them pop up. The next item isn't something for your child, at least not immediately. It's the notes to my child. It's a nice little place for you to leave notes, stories, or whatever memories you want your little one to read when they get older. Each of these envelopes already have a topic, so it makes it a little bit easier to just start writing and you don't have to worry about, well, what do I need to write on these little notes? But if you want to write more notes to your children that are on different topics, there's a little pocket in the back that can hold a few more notes. Personally, I think that this is an awesome idea. Can you imagine all the warm, fuzzy feelings you get if you got to read notes from your parents as an adult? It would definitely bring a different perspective on things. Although this is a nice addition, there is a free alternative for this. As I mentioned when unboxing, you could simply write emails to your child to read when they get older, and it doesn't cost you anything to make an email address. If you were to add up all the alternatives on Amazon to try to recreate your own box, it would cost you $132.21, which is about 1.6 times the cost of this box, making the box well worth it. In my review of the previous play kit, I found that it would cost 1.4 times the cost to recreate that box. At this point, you might be thinking monetary-wise, it looks better but are the newly added items better than the items that got removed? I would say for the most part, I prefer this new version of the box over the older version. The first wallet, wood coins, and big spinner cards were never some of my son's favorites. And additionally, these items are easier to find alternatives for. Love Every themselves include wood coins and the babbler, which is the next box you'd receive if you're subscribed to them. The wood stacking stones have potential to be fun, but my son used them less for stacking and more for banging on different objects. I wouldn't say it's a huge disappointment that this was removed. The Silly Song Books was nice to have a physical copy of song lyrics without reaching for my phone, but you can also easily print out lyrics from online. The one thing that does bum me out is the replacement of Baby Avery. The new organic cotton baby doll is nice, but I like the two-piece clothing set and the hair on Baby Avery doll much better. I found the new addition of the organic cotton sensory pouch wooden peg drop, and notes to my child to be overall better and more worth it. There's actually one more change that I've noticed. They no longer include a separate care card on how to clean and take care of the toys. It's now conveniently inside the play guide. This is a welcome change as it's one less item for me to keep track of. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think about the changes. Do you like the changes or do you prefer the previous kit? Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more Love Every unboxing and reviews. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.